videos. Welcome back, my snapping buddies and gals. Uh, we are going to head off on a journey today where we're playing some straight sixes. All right, so the whole point of this one is basically just to play as many six cost cards as possible and still have a chance at winning. Not saying this is the best deck if you're like, oh my gosh, I want the best one. The best six cost deck is Noel Galactus, okay? Noel Galactus, and I guess uh, if you have death, throw slap some death in there too. I have... I have none of those cards, so I'm not I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I don't have Death, I don't have Null, I don't have Galactus. So, um, but that one's that one's better. So do that. With that said, uh, people aren't actually playing Thanos in Thanos decks, so he's not as good. People are usually like summoning Magneto and Giganto. Destroyer decks are fun, but usually people aren't pairing them with other things. I can sometimes play Infinite in my discard decks, but that uh, happens less than it than than I that it usually happens when I don't want to have it happen. So it's not something I'm aiming for. And then Apocalypse, you don't actually even want to play. Leader got massive nerfed. Spectrum isn't getting a lot of play right now. Onslaught decks are still really fun. You can still do those. They just don't have enough point value to contend with discard decks, which are like the middle of the meta right now. And they certainly don't have enough points to contend with your old boy here, Red Skull, coming down at double power. So, we're going to go try it with these other cards. Because, yeah, baby. I'm feeling it. I don't care what the other kids say. I think we can do this. Yeah, uh, YouTube does show you the gender percentage of your views, but I was reading about this and watching a video. It's all lies because they make gender inferences. So because, like, because I am a video gaming channel, they will overestimate the number of male viewers that I have because they because in their statistical research, you are more likely to be a male watching your channel, right? They also have a problem where like a lot of times male household uh like head of households like where people act like the male is in charge of all the finances for i don't know hashtag feminism is dying i guess reasons i did boggles my mind but anyway for those ones it'll be like a man who signed up for the account it's a male with the credit card and then okay well um if only if only the little bird side uh okay this is gonna i don't know what x mansion is gonna be so i also don't know what this is gonna ruin so i'm gonna go for debris here then i'll play psylocke next turn um boom too little too late cosmo ah thanks for that thanks for that <laughs> yes all right we got this we got this so hard. Patriot for life. There he goes. Get out of here, man. Get off my lawn. I didn't even play Patriot yet. He doesn't even know if that rock is going to do me any good. I could have been playing like Carnage. I mean, it depends on how much information you've put in on somewhere. But YouTube, people don't have to have like a lot of information associated with their account. They don't have to tell the truth either. You regularly, I'm sorry, coming back to your comments slide, you're regularly playing Ongoing Spectrum. Can you uh, share a deck list or card ideas for that? I would love to, love to try that out. Um, I don't need Electro yet, but I do, I am going to think about it. Okay, uh, DC for me is like game over for the opponent, and I have Elysium. It's just wait, bro. You'll find out. Like he's gonna get the same value as as me on the rock, but that's okay. This is a weird choice. I'm gonna weird him out by not doing anything with it too. Okay, so the only thing I have to think about here is. Doom, Odin, and then something else. I would like to get maybe Hulk here. So if I go Electro now, 
I'm gonna I should be good. And we'll get Electro onto here, because good times. We just won't get Patriot, which sucks, but Doom should take care of that. We'll see. I want him to I want him to foster cluck this middle middle one. Yep, good. I don't want like Sinister is definitely worse. Baku, huh? Can you try to like make space? I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna play Hulk. No, actually I'm not. Ugh. No, I am. I want him to be a little terrible. I want him to be like scared on mid, but confident on right. I want him to commit. I want the points. Oh, okay, good. I mean, these are set at six, so I should be fine anyway. Yeah, he's wrecked. You're wrecked, nerd. Um, so Doom bots are don't have abilities, so they'll be they'll come down for plus eight. Right here. But if you have Patriot, they get another plus two. Bam. Oh, yeah, Hulk. Yeah, when you play Hulk, he does that. Yeah, and if I, like, uh, hold Cyclops, I'll show you. There's some cool stuff you do. <laughs> Moron. Guys playing a Cerebro deck on the DC. Oh, just give up, bro. Give up. Yeah, like, some cards, like, if I play Cyclops, yeah, there it is. He realized. <laughs> okay. I don't have Sarah. I don't have Sarah. That one's that's a suck one for me. Yeah, I can see that. So uh, for those of you watch on YouTube, Slad's deck is Ant Man, Mojo, who I also don't have, Armor, Colossus, Lizard, Fantastic, Punisher, Captain America, Namor, Claw, Sarah, and Spectrum. It's a good deck. I like that grouping of twos, the ongoing twos that you can play as ones with Sarah. That's cool. You could do like Spectrum with one of those as your final play. That's dope. I like that. Uh, I think Namor sucks, personally. I would honestly trim him. Especially if you're doing like a low-costed deck with Ant-Man and Mojo. I think, I think Namor kind of just, just trash. Great thing about Wasp, you don't have to play her till late. And if like if you get Electro, then you just play her when you play Electro. No big deal. I think we're gonna miss Electro here. Um, let's just cluster this guy up, Sam, as we're getting clustered. Man. Not great. Not my favorite. All right. Mock slide's a little weird. Yeah, Warpath is... Yeah, if you did, like, Namor plus Claw, plus, like, you could get enough points with them. But he's just, like, if he was a three, I'd be down for it. But four is just too valuable of a round, in my experience. He didn't play Moon Girl. I'm not gonna snap. I'm not that confident. Uh, I'm doing this wrong though. We're gonna do Patriot plus Squirrel Girl. Then I'm feeling it. Let's go! 
Big money, big money, big money. And he's got to play a big play here or a big play here because we're going to get a reasonable number of points. It's not going to be great, but it'll be reasonable. Oh, yeah. Juicy Darkhawk. I do want a Darkhawk real bad. We missed this by like two points, huh? It sucks. Darkhawk Devil Dinosaur deck feels like can't make up your mind. But good for him. I didn't expect the Darkhawk play. A Wong double spectrum. I like that actually. That makes a lot of sense. Cause he gets the buff too. I would I would do that. I also don't have Wong. Speaking of which, let's see what let's see what card is on offer. Oh, it's coming. Not Mysterio. Not doing that. Nope. Uh cards I really want are Wong. I shouldn't have spent it on Helicarrier right now. I feel like a moron, but Wong. Galactus, no. I don't know what I want. And Sarah. That was the other one. I was like, there's another one I want. This is not... Uh, throne room's not great. I mean, we do have Hulk, but... Okay, that that is... Yeah, yeah, but I got to, like, I just, I want to make content, and you got to have Wong to make the content, you know what I mean? But he does get shut down really quickly, Enchantress. Enchantress or, oh, that sucks. Douche. Um, losing his content, well, you're not entirely wrong there. Uh, okay, so I could do Electro, but I don't want to here. So this is a good example of just be thoughtful in your plays. I actually want to play Psylocke. The reason why... Oh, shite. It's all because of Mindscape. <laughs> but it's also because... I don't I don't want to be trapped to one card use. Um, I think we're going to be okay. I think the Odin play is going to be fine. He's not gonna be. He doesn't know I have it. That's the best I can say. That's the best I can say. Oh no, I should have played Wasp. That was dumb. I missed. Oh, shit. Well, if we lose by uh, one point on Mindscape or Drone Room, it's my fault. Taking this long tells me that the guy wants to play Hazmat, but he regrets having played Storm on the middle one instead of on Mindscape because he now has too many good cards and he doesn't want to yield those to me. I'm guessing Odin is one of them. So, I'm, am I giving up on Odin? Probably. Right, she goes back in. It's fine. That's annoying. Why would you do that? Why would you do Cerebro Hazmat? Boom, baby, boom, baby. What you saying to me? Get wrecked, nerd. Get absolutely slapped. Like, uh, I mean, this this got pulled out. He didn't play it. it. It mixed up the location. I was like, why would you play a scorpion on a Mindscape? Um, he does win at Throne Room, but I think we beat it. I think we can beat him on Mindscape. It's going to be close. If he plays Odin. Don't know why you would, because Odin's going to get his power reduced, but everybody gets to make choices. I expect the wasp play. So if we lose by three, it's because I'm an idiot. All right, we tie. It's all gonna come down to whatever that is. And it is not enough. Cool, 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 cool. 
Hey, you gotta have Luke Cage for that. I don't know what you're doing. Like, I did play more cards, but that was weird choices. Yeah, had I played Wasp, he would have lost out on that power, that value as well. So that would have been a clinch. That was just dumb plays. Oh yeah, Arrow also ruins it, Magneto, yeah. Are you doing your Iron Man game in RuneScape or something? What are you doing? Like this is the equivalent of playing in these other two places, so don't sweat it. When it's Strange Academy. <laughs> That's the only one revealed. So, like, yeah, whatever. This is dumb, though, because now you're going to get double squirrel somewhere. All right. Uh, we want to leave this empty, fill this one, and then fill this one so that these go here. Well, cool, I guess. It's not gonna get enough to play death. So that's good at least. Ugh. Not even, like, Patriot's not even enough. Patriot gets me a tie here and a win here. He hasn't snapped, so. Ooh. Rough. Well played. A uh, pacifist playthrough, huh? Um, all right, well, that is straight sixes. I hope all of you enjoyed this deck. Uh, it'll teach you some new cool skills, and it's a better take on energy manipulation, I think. It does require some cards you might not have right away, so build your way up to it. Uh, be patient, and uh, have some fun if you want to try it out. Otherwise, uh, just treat it as a good way to grind to the stupid missions that require you to play six-cost cards. Oh, I hate them. Until next time, <laughs> good luck out there. Have some fun. Bye for now.